Hello and welcome to the Futures Lab. So this week we are finishing off our Gaster Blaster attacks and we're doing some tidying up of our code. So to start off, this next bit is optional, but if you're like me, you like having code that's nice and clean and concise and avoids repeating itself. If you look for your Gaster Circle attack and you look for your Gaster XYD, you'll notice we can do something very cool here. If you see over here, we've got our Gaster Spawn X, Y, D and Create Clone, and we've got it here, what we can actually do is get out a Gaster X, Y, D, put it right here, grab this X position, put it there, this Y position, put it there, and this whole direction plus 120 and put it there. And then what we can do is take away all of this, move that back, and this code looks a lot nicer. As I said, that's optional. It will work the same either way, but if you can avoid repeating code, your code will be a lot easier to read. So now let's get to the fun bit. Let's create a new Gaster attack. So we're going to find some space. We're going to click on make a block and we're going to call this Gaster random and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a space and an R we're going to create an input and we're going to call this input repeat then we're going to click on text add a label we're going to call this W and then we're going to add an input and call this weight we're going to click on text add a label and we're going to call this H question mark. This is going to stand for hunt. Click on add an input and we'll call this input hunt. Why not question mark? So press OK and we should have our define gaster random. Now the repeat input, that should be fairly obvious. That's how many gaster blasters we're making. The weight is going to be the weight in between each of the gaster blasters. But what does hunt mean? Well, hunt is going to be whether or not the gaster blasters face in a straight direction or whether or not they turn to face the player wherever the player is. So I was inspired by another attack and that's the spear attack that we made earlier. So we could copy paste this across, but that might get a little bit confusing. So we'll make it again, but this should be extra easy if you remember the rough principles of how we made our spear attack. So make sure that we're looking at define gaster random and let's put some code underneath. So first of all, go to control and get out repeat 10 get our repeat input and put it over the 10, then get out an if then else. Put that inside the repeat, go to operators, get out a equals operator, get out a pick random one to 10, put that in the first socket of the equals operator, change that 10 to two and this 50 to one. So this is going to be a coin flip. It's going to pick a random number between one and two and do either what's underneath the if or what's underneath the else. We are going to have a 50-50 chance of doing one or the other. Now these Gaster Blaster attacks are gonna come from one of four different directions. They're either going to come from the top, the bottom, the left, or the right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to group the top and bottom attacks and put that underneath the if, and the left and right attacks are going to be underneath the else. Now, the reason that we group them this way is because we're going to be using random numbers to determine the X and Y variables. And you'll notice that with the top and bottom attacks, we can set the X variable using the same range of random numbers. So let's do that now. Let's go to variables and get out a set Gaster spawn X 
And then let's go to operators and get out a pick random. And I'm going to set this to be between minus 70 and 70. You can change those numbers if you want the Gaster Blasters spawning in a wider area, if you like. Then directly underneath this set, we're going to get out a if then else. Put that right here. And we're going to get out another coin flip. So put your mouse over this equals, right click, duplicate, move this down here. So this if then else is going to decide whether or not the attack is coming from the top or the bottom. We don't need to set the X, we've already set that, but we do need to set the Y of the attack. So get out a set gaster spawn Y and a good coordinate for the top, I think should be 75. Feel free to change that number if you want. And then let's duplicate this and put it under the else. For the bottom, let's set the Y coordinate to minus 135. That should work. Ah, but there's one more thing we need to do. We need to set the direction of the attack. So if this here is going to set the attack as coming from the top, we need to make sure that the Gaster Blaster is pointing down at the box. So get out a set Gaster Spawn D to, let's say, 180. That should point the beam directly down. And we'll get another set Gaster Spawn D to zero, and that should face it directly up. So we've dealt with our top and bottom attacks. Now what we need to do is deal with the left and right attacks. And to do that, let's be lazy and copy some code. Put your mouse over the set Gaster Spawn X, right click and duplicate, and then put all of this underneath that gap where we've got the else. And what we need to do is change these variables because we're going to set our Gaster Spawn Y. And this is going to be the random height of the Gaster attacks that are coming from the sides. So let's change these numbers as well. Let's say that we'll go from pick random minus 85 to 0. As always, feel free to change these numbers. The important thing is that the Gaster Blaster is facing your box because if it completely misses the box and has literally no chance of hitting your player, the attack will look a little bit silly and pointless. So we've dealt with our random number that controls our Y coordinate. Now we need to deal with the coin flip that decides if we're going to be attacking from the left or the right. So we need to change this Gaster Spawn Y to a Gaster Spawn X. And let's say that this is the left side. So we'll change that to minus 170. Now, if our gaster is coming from the left and shooting to the right, we need to make sure that this number is 90. As always, if you forget the numbers that control the directions, just go and check out a point and direction block and take a note of what number that you want for the direction that you want. So now let's change this Gaster Spawn Y into a Gaster Spawn X and we'll change it to 170. So these will be Gasters that are shooting from the right. So we need to change this number here to minus 90 to make sure they're pointing left. Now go to Control, get out Create Clone of Gaster Blaster. It needs to go right here and then pull out a wait one seconds and let's give it a test. You probably already know what you need to do for this part. Go looking for your if mode equals evade, pull out what you've got in there just for the moment, go to my blocks and get out a gaster random and put it inside the if mode equals evade. Now for our repeat, we're going to put in 10. We're going to leave the wait blank and also the hunt question mark as blank for the time being. Let's see what it looks like. 
Okay, moment of truth. Ah, perfect. We've got Gasters spawning on all four different sides, and they're all facing the correct direction. If any of your Gasters are pointing in the wrong direction, you probably need to change the numbers next to your Gaster spawn D. Double check that you've got the X's and the Y's in the right place. Excellent, let's head back to the code. So it should be fairly easy to make our weight input work. But then I'm going to show you how to implement the hunt mechanic, and that's going to be a lot more interesting. So head back to your Gaster random, your define Gaster random, and we're going to need to get this weight input. And we're going to bring also down this hunt input. Bring them down to the bottom. Nice and simply, this weight input is going to go across the one in wait one seconds. Then we're going to go to control, get out an if then, put that right above create clone. Make sure that create clone and weight are pulled underneath it. Then go to operators, get out a not get out an equals, put your hunt into your not equal to, and click on this 50, and delete it. So if you leave the hunt input blank, it's not going to do what we put inside this if. The Gaster Blasters will spawn, as we've already seen, facing the direction of the box. But if you put something like a yes or a y or anything at all into the hunt input, it's going to initiate the hunt mode. Go to variables, get out a set variable and put it inside our if. We are going to set the gaster spawn d to player. Now, two problems. We've already set the gas to spawn D up here, haven't we? But that's okay because this happens after. So this will overwrite the old answer with the new answer. Second problem, isn't this meant to be a number? We can't just write player in there and expect it to work. And you're right, unless we put some extra code into our Gaster Blasters. So let's go to our Gaster Blaster sprite. Let's look for when I start as clone. And can you see we've got our point in direction, Gaster spawn D? What we're going to do is go to control and get out an if then else. We want to put this if then else right here underneath our go to X. Then we want to grab this move backwards and everything underneath it and put this on the very bottom. Go to operators, get out an equals operator and put it in between the if and the then. Go to variables, get out gaster spawn D and put it in the first socket of our equals operator. Click on this 50 and type in player. Grab this point in direction and move it down to the else. Go to motion, get out a point towards mouse pointer, put it under the if, but change mouse pointer to heart or player. So now, if the gaster spawn D variable is set to be the word player, the gaster blaster will point at the player. And if it's anything else, any other number, it will use that number to point in that direction. All right, let's give it a test, shall we? Go back to your projectile sprite. Go looking for your if mode equals evade loop. Now, just for fun, I'm going to put this weight as 0.3, let's say. That will spawn them pretty quickly, but that should be fun. And then I'm going to set this hunt question mark. I'm just gonna type in a Y for yes. It actually doesn't matter what you type in here. Um, as long as something's in there, it's going to initiate the hunt mode. All right, you guys ready? Let's see what this looks like. 
Okay, there we go. Now if I just stay in one spot, you can see that the Gaster Blasters always shoot directly at me, and I've got to continually move around to avoid getting shot. And you can see how fast they are spawning. How rapidly. We've suddenly made the game so much harder. Now that's the last Gaster attack I wanted to show you, but feel free to get creative and make your own. Now, there's one more thing I wanted to do today, and that's due to popular demand. Now, when we attack, we already know that if we hit the enemy, the number of the damage that we deal pops up in that cool red font. But if we miss, we don't have that little word miss appear that a few people have asked for. There's a really easy way of making it. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So first of all, go to your damage sprite, go to your costumes, Go to the very bottom and right click on your zero and duplicate. We're going to call this costume Miss and we're going to double click on this zero and type in Miss, all in capitals. Now drag this so that it's centered and go back to the code. Now we already have a broadcast that happens when we miss the enemy. It's actually called enemy dodges. So in our damage sprite, we'll make some code that happens when we receive the broadcast enemy dodges. So go to events, get out a when I receive enemy dodges, go to looks, switch costume to miss, go to motion, and get out go to enemy, go to control, pull out a wait 0 0.3 seconds, and then get out create clone of myself. Let's see if that works. There we go, got that nice miss now pop up. And that's everything for today. As always, subscribe and ring the bell to see the next episode. Let me know in the comments if you need any help with your project or if you have any suggestions for what to do next. And aside from that, stay awesome, be cool to each other, and take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time, ninjas.